Oh, okay, it's me again. Um, as you can see, the creation that I've made as a platform for putting some finished houses on is coming together. But uh, I don't like the way that the people are going to plummet to their death off this edge. So what I'm going to do is try and create some steps for them to kind of walk down from up here to the lower area. And this area, actually, when I finish, is going to be a, um, a market square area. Anyway. I thought I'd show you how I, I've, I've constructed things in the past. I know there's many of you who have done things, wonderful things. Some people have never tried anything at all. And I know someone the other day has said that they'd never used one of these, a, a hot gun. So I'm going to just use a hot gun as well when I'm doing this construction. Anyway, what I'm going to do is, is if, I, if you look at what I've got here, if I put four of these blocks now, I'm sure you, many of you will use these blocks. You buy them for... for a few couple of quid on Amazon and they come in all different shapes and sizes the bigger the block the more expensive they are I quite often use these little small blocks because they um, you can put them together to create whatever size that you want so what I'm going to do um, is I'm going to come down uh, with a set of steps and then go down with another set of steps now the way I do this is to start with I'll put a couple of blocks together and I fit blocks together by a little bit of PVA glue. And then quite simply, cocktail sticks. Love cocktail sticks. Just hold stuff together. If you push your cocktail stick down into to one, and then the other, and then line up where you want this to be on the top. And push it down just kind of holds those two blocks together so they don't fall apart and what I'm going to do the, the PVA will eventually set um, and um, and then I'll put the other block on the front but what I'm going to do is use um, a hot gun uh, I mean a hot wire now uh, some of you have never used these before I noticed but I'm sure there's a lot of you have I treat myself to a new one this year I had a battery operated one that had one of these wires on it which was great for scooping out and cutting. But I, 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 there were times when I felt it didn't do all the things that I wanted it to do. And the batteries kept running out. Um, so I invested a bit more money this year and I bought one that's mains operated. And it also comes with two other attachments. So I've got the, uh, the wire gum, which I showed you. I've got this kind of hooky thing, which means we can scoop out things. I've also got this hot needle. So I'm gonna turn that needle on um, I'm sure it won't take long to warm up. This is genuinely the first time I've used this one. So we shall see. Uh, it's red hot already. <laughs> one tip, don't test it like that. That was very hot. Right, so you'll see what happens now. I'm gonna go very carefully in here and just gradually go in. This is very hot. This is way hotter than the one I've had in the past. We go in, let me cut, and we can cut down. So I kind of mark my steps on this before I started. You gotta remember it's a rock, so it doesn't kind of have to be perfect. Well, that was my finger on the other side. Okay, that um is way better than the battery one i had last year the battery one i had last year um took a while to cut through things that was really truly a knife through butter so if you've got a battery one invest uh, in a mains one uh, anyone wants to know where i got it from came off amazon uh, of course like everything does and if you want me to send you the link i will do okay so i've got some steps there uh, not quite happy with them because uh, that's the first time I've used this and it was very very quick and very hot they're at a slight angle so I'm going to just square them off a bit um, I'm working as you can probably tell in my garage 
I would suggest that you work in a well ventilated area with these things. When you're cutting polystyrene, it does give off some fumes. Um, I, I don't, I haven't been affected by them, but some people might be affected by them a bit. So I'm going to make my steps a little bit more accurate. Now, I'm not going to fret too much because what I'm going to do, and I've cut these, let's turn that off because that is very hot. When I've um, finished this, I'm going to be covering it with plaster bandage. Okay, so you can see that I've got my steps there. Now, some of you may or may have not used plaster bandage. Um, what I'm going to do is carry on working with my steps and forming my steps. And then I will actually put plaster bandage on it at a later stage. Now, I could actually use those to go down if I wanted to. But because I've got another whole block, what I'm going to do is put this block against that block. And then kind of use my Sharpie pen kind of draw draw down so I'm literally kind of getting my steps down the scale of the steps let's be honest we're being um, creative here uh, the fact that they're not necessarily true to scale I don't think really matters too much it's the concept that's important can't do everything perfectly as much as we'd like to so I'm going to put those to one side put my knife on again and I'm going to gradually just wait for that to heat up and away it goes beautiful this is whoa this is this is a brilliant hot wire See how simple this is? If I can do it, it must be simple. Turn that off. Oh, I haven't gone all the way through. Well, there's a thing. On well, some of these, I haven't gone all the way through. So I'm just going to push it through. I just didn't go all the way to the back, is it? This is a bit like that game you play as a kid, isn't it? Where you have to not ring the bell. Right, so there's my steps down. So I've got a set of steps now that I can now, what I'm gonna do is cover them with plaster bandage. Um, I'm gonna get a little few off cuts. It's always nice to have some off cuts. You can stick them on this front edge to create rocky outcrops. You'll see what I mean when I do it in the next video um, to give that a bit of texture. And then I'll put my, um, my bandage over the top and you'll see how I mould that as well. Anyway, there's the start of my steps um, and I will carry on with the next video. Happy villaging. See you soon.